Hey, it's Dave Altavilla for Hot Hardware and Hot Tech here at Snapdragon Summit 2025 in scenic Maui, Hawaii with my buddy Frank from Qualcomm. And we've got some uh, Snapdragon X2 Elite demos on display. Frank, what do you got, buddy? Yeah, so we got an array of different things right here. So right starting from this side, we have different types of reference designs that leverage our new Snapdragon X2 Elite platform. So these are mini PCs, super thin, super lightweight, fanless, carrying our our newest chip and they're super powerful and they're also power efficient at the same time. Wow. So for this one in particular, you can take it with you, plug it in into any monitor and desk and uh, keyboard and have your own setup. Or we also have this concept design where it snaps right into this monitor for an all-in-one experience. Nice. So that's a Snapdragon X2 Elite. Can you say how many cores are in those little guys? There are 18 cores inside of the oh, new. So you can get up to the Extreme Edition in there. Yeah, the, yeah exactly. And for our third gen Qualcomm Orion CPU. Nice, all right. And you get some demos going on too, right? Yeah, so we have some productivity demos here to help you be more productive and also help you with your multitasking. So the first one here is a plugin that goes into Word and it's called Spot Draft. And what it's doing is that it's analyzing the this contract and understanding whether it meets your corporate policies and guidelines. So you can see that the NPU is spiking here on the left as it, and then it's, it's checking out like how many of those policies are meeting or not meeting. And then that way it can help you redline it as you get it back. So what's great about this is that it's entirely NPU. It runs, you have your CPU and GPU free to do other things. And additionally, um, it's all safe and private because it's all that's going on the device. So you imagine things with more sensitive data like contracts, um, this, is a, this is a useful tool in that regard. Very cool. So an on-device on AI digital lawyer assistant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. All right. We got one more here too, right? So we have another one here. This is a, it's called, it's called con, from Contextual. It's also plugged into an Excel. So when you open it up here in the financial agent, what I have here is a set of raw data. Uh, and if I wanted to do things like understand how to format the data or table or draw, draw some trends, I can use it to kind of query and give it commands. So I'm just gonna make it something simple. I'm gonna say make a chart out of column H and column I. So again, very similar in the sense that, okay, it's gonna take it and gonna be able to synthesize your query and request. It's gonna light up the MPU to do this analysis. Now your, your other, uh, Processing from GPU and CPU is going to open up, and then it's going to create that information. So looks like the charts behind the yeah, uh, super fast. Process. Wow. So this is all possible with our new fast 80 tops NPU um, to be able to do that. So you, you can do a whole myriad of different things in terms of analyzing all that data and making sure that you're getting all the information you need in a quick and efficient way. Save you the grunt work. Good stuff. Yeah. Awesome. And you've got a little clamshell here. I got, yeah. So this is a two-in-one design. No, I'm sorry. It's a detachable, yeah. Detachable design. So this comes out super razor thin. Nice. Running also our Snapdragon Next 2 Elite platform. Um, and yeah, it's a, it's, it's a super thin and light design, fanless, very super portable, snacks into this keyboard. Um, and these are just like a reference design that's kind of show the different types of thermal envelopes that our, our the chip can go into. Awesome. Frank, then, thanks so much. I appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks. And Dave Altavilla back here, Hot Tech at uh, Snapdragon Summit 2025, this time with Corey from Qualcomm. And uh, we've got a little bit of a Snapdragon X2 Elite gaming demo, I do believe. What do you got, Corey? Hi, welcome everybody. Coming at you live here from uh, lovely Maui. Scenic and, Maui, uh, yes. It is amazing. A little warm outside, but it's <laughs> nice and cool inside. And I think that's also in part because of how cool we keep everything while we're under pressure here on a platform. So what we're showing here is um, Fortnite running on the new X2 Elite uh, platform that's being announced this week. And the important thing to show here is that Fortnite before was something that people were worried couldn't run. And that's because, because we're emulating, that emulation layer can be seen as, um, as cheating, right? Like the, the, the anti-cheat software sees that layer between the CPU and the game as a potential for exploitation. So it would see it as cheating. And what you don't want to do is have people who've spent hundreds, potentially thousands of dollars on V-Bucks over the years and clout, right, and all the stuff for their swag that they're putting on their characters to be lost because they get flagged as a cheater. So 
that's why you don't want to really do that. Or, or even somebody who plays on a primary desktop device who happens to log into maybe their parents' device, which is a Snapdragon, and all of a sudden they get flagged, right? So we worked hard with Epic and other anti-cheat uh, software to become native so that it's not seen anymore as a, as a challenge to that. So we could always run the game and run it well, but we want to make sure that we're doing the right thing for gamers when we do that. That being said, we are not in any way trying to target gaming as the primary device for X2 Elite. X2 Elite is really about having performance on battery. So if you're tired of when you unplug your device that you start to lose performance or it starts to get really slow because it's trying to be battery efficient and you're losing all the performance you paid for. I, I liken it to, I, I bought a Ferrari with 12 cylinders, but when I leave the driveway, eight of the cylinders drop out of my car. Well, it looks like a Ferrari and I paid for the OLED and I paid for the amazing laptop, but I'm getting four cylinders of performance out of it when I'm on battery. And we believe because of where we come from that when you're on battery, you should get all your cylinders, you should get everything you paid for, it doesn't matter. You use the device how you want to use the device. So nice. that's what we're really about. But the gaming here is really to show the table stakes of can you run it? Yes, we can run it. And we're working and the ecosystem is coming very, very far. So you really shouldn't worry anymore about you know, should I buy these? Is it going to be right? Is it going to be right to do what I need to do? Like, it's really advancing very, very quickly. Nice. So you got 3840 by 1080p resolution. I yep. think you mentioned you get the, you get FPS uh, capped out at 60 frames per second, yep. but medium uh, image quality. So, so this, then we just happen to choose that. We can go higher, but yep. again, we have an unoptimized driver here. This is a pre-build, right? So this is, these devices you're seeing are yeah, devices prototypes. that literally built by our engineers and put into these chassis just to have something that would work. Okay. So we don't have any optimized drivers here. We don't have optimized thermals. In many cases, like I said, these are, these are just initial builds using the chip. And so we happen to choose that just because it'll look decent, but it runs well over 60 frames um, as it's running that, and it's running on a big 4K monitor. Now, what's amazing about X2 Elite is that we can run three 4K monitors at 60 frames per second and the device itself, right? So we can run four different screens and you can do it all on battery if you wanted. So that's what we're talking about is that kind of power in a portable device um, that's a thin and light that lasts all day, multiple days uh, of use. So that's really what we're trying to show off here. Awesome. And anti-cheat is a anti-cheat anti issues are a thing of the past now. Well, again, it's always going to depend. It depends on the manufacturer. It depends on the game design studio, right? So the big ones you can see that easy anti-cheat and those that are, are working, that those are in place. We're not going to say that there won't be any. It depends on who it is. But working with the ecosystems and and the good news is that those manufacturers are blocking the, the from the install if it is an issue, right? So that you don't run the risk of being banned. But I think what you're going to see is gaming in general. If you do light gaming or you have a big Steam library, or you have something where it's like, am I going to be able to use what I already paid for? The great news is all of our partnerships and work is that a lot of this is being opened up so that you're able to use it. So you shouldn't be afraid uh, to buy something like this as a secondary device, or if you only game lightly every once in a while and you want to make sure you can play with maybe a nephew or your kid, right, or that kind of stuff, that you have a device that you're able to do that. Awesome. Thanks so much, Corey. You're Appreciate certainly welcome. It. Enjoy the show.